History of the Great Western Franchise. It all started in February 1996, where the company is operated as Great Western Trains, with it becoming First Great Western in December 1998. This was due to First Group buying out their partner shares in the Great Western Holdings. Great Western Holdings was formed by British Rail managers, with them at a 51% sharehold. First Bus, or First Group as they're referred to now, at a 24.5% shareholder, and 3i at a 24.5% shareholder. Damn, that was a mouthful. But the acquisition of the rest of the company gave them 100% ownership of the franchise in March 1998, and the whole franchise being rebranded as First Great Western. In April 2003, the Strategic Rail Authority invited First Group and Go Ahead to bid for a two year franchise extension of the Thames Trains franchise. Thames Trains being a train operating company owned by Go Ahead since 1996. It ran a lot of the services part of the Great Western franchise now, with its rolling stock consisting of diesel multiple units class 165 and 166. The reason why the Strategic Rail Authority invited First Group and Go Ahead to bid for the two year franchise extensions of Thames Trains was so it can coincide with the end date of the First Great Western franchise, so that the two franchises could be merged together. It was announced in November 2003 that the franchise was going to be awarded to First Group, with services transferring from Thames Trains to First Great Western Link in April 2004. So First Group were running the two different franchises on the Great Western mainline under two different names, First Great Western and First Great Western Link. Then April 2005 came around when it was announced that First Group, National Express and Stagecoach had been shortlisted to bid for the new franchise. The winner being First Group, announced in December 2005. The services from First Great Western, First Great Western Link and Wessex Trains transferring to First Great Western in April 2006. Wessex Trains being a franchise that ran services in the west of England and Wales. First Group originally planned to subdivide their services into three different categories based on their routes. But feedback from stakeholders and staff made them decide to just rebrand all services. All services being referred to as First Great Western. The franchise starting in April 2006 was to last for 10 years with the option of a three year franchise extension. Yeah, as in an option either by First Group or the Department for Transport. Whereas elsewhere, the option for an extension is decided just by the Department for Transport. First Group announced on the 14th of May 2011 that they would not be taking up the option of an extension. This was because they wanted a long term contract instead due to the undergoing work on the Great Western Mainline. In March 2012, it was announced that Arriva, First Group, National Express and Stagecoach had been shortlisted for the new Great Western franchise. However, it was announced that the franchise would be extended. In the beginning of 2013, in January to be exact, it was announced by the Department for Transport that the franchise competition for the Great Western franchise had been cancelled. This was due to the failed Intercity West Coast franchising process. This meant the existing franchise was extended until October 2013. Oh, but this wasn't the end of extensions for this franchise, as it was extended for another two years until September 2015. Which is where they adopted their new Great Western Railway naming and their dark green livery. The dark green livery was to match the old Great Western Railway, which ran from 1835 to 1947. The franchise then got extended to March 2019, and then again to March 2020. The new franchise operator that was meant to start in April 2013 was meant to introduce new intercity express trains, capacity enhancements and smart ticketing. Even though there isn't a new franchise operator, some of these did get introduced. For example, the introduction of the new class 800 and 802 sets, where the class 800 and 802 are bi-mode units, which means they can run on either overhead electrical wires or diesel. However, the class 802 actually outperforms the class 800 as they have higher energy power, so it's able to handle the steeper gradients in the southwest of England. Until May 2018, Great Western ran services between Paddington and Hayes and Harlington. Then TfL Rail took over these services with the newly built class 345s for the highly anticipated Crossrail, I mean, Elizabeth Line. And from December 2019, TfL Rail also took over some stopping services to Reading. Great Western Railway also took over operations of the Heathrow Express, part of a management contract, where Heathrow Airport are still in charge of the service on board of the train and the ticket pricing, and Great Western Railway are in control of the fleet, but Heathrow Express will be talked about in another video. 
So what does the future hold for this franchise? Well, it was meant to be given an extension for two years, from March 2020 to March 2022. But due to the change up of how franchising works, we don't know what's happening. So we're just going to have to wait and see. Ooh. Anyways, thanks for watching and sorry this took like two weeks. Life just happened and yeah, now we're here. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one. First bustle, first group. Oh, first bustle, first group. First.